my lovely Sagittarians. This is Debs and this is your TGIF for Friday, the 9th of August, 2024. Sag, I hope you've had an amazing week. Um, I hope you're ready for the weekend. I am. <laughs> Let's jump in and find out how your person is feeling about you. The deck that I'm using is the Tarot du Soleil. Everything you need is down below. And with that said, Sag, let's begin this reading. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 9th of August, moving into the weekend and into a brand new week. What do we have for my lovely Sagittarians? Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing someone out there say, I just need a holiday. Oh, I just need a holiday. Okay, Sad, you might be really busy right now. You may be tying up loose ends before deciding to take a break. Okay. Hmm. All right, Sad. You may have a lot on right now. That's what I'm getting from you guys what's what I'm feeling let's have a look two of swords the death card okay Sag you may be deciding you want to work on a connection I mean the two of swords and the death card is you not wanting an ending but it may also be that you can't seem to transform a connection with the person that you want to be with because they may not be speaking to you. They may have blocked you. All right. Now, if not, the two of swords is pushing down your feelings, embracing a new cycle. So you may have healed from a connection and this is you looking at moving into something new. All right. Sag, let's see what's going on, guys. The Five of Swords, okay, you may be trying to avoid a situation or you may be tempted to sabotage a situation. Okay, guys, Three of Wands. Did you sabotage an opportunity, Sag? I mean, this would be you waiting for your ships to come in. The Five of Swords is you running away from that, sabotaging that. Six of Cups. Okay, Sag, you're looking back at the past, thinking that you might have sabotaged an opportunity. You may have sabotaged an opportunity to move or to progress in some way. For some of you, there may be a little bit of sadness relating to a Cancerian. All right, Saggy. Yeah, Five of Cups. It's as if I wish I could turn back the clock and do things differently. Could be sitting in a bit of regret. Eight of Wands. Can be communication, can be travel. The Moon. Okay, Sag, you're afraid in the nicest sense of reaching out and communicating with someone because you may be fearful they're going to reject you. Four of coins. And so you're holding back, Sag. You're holding back and hanging on to your money. Oh, Sag. But with the nine of wands, this is weighing very heavily on your shoulders. So I don't know what happened here, Sag. You may have just got cold feet and thought, I'm not going to do this. And you're looking back and thinking, I should have done this. I shouldn't have sabotaged my ship coming in. You're looking back at the past thinking, I could have moved forward and I didn't. You're sitting in disappointment that you didn't take that chance. You're wanting to reach out with the eight of wands, but with the moon, you're afraid of doing it. So you're keeping your feelings to yourself. Four of coins, four of pentacles, you're holding back, but it's causing you a lot of burden. So Sad, what I get from this is you may have fallen in love with someone, but been afraid to go for it. And you're now looking back at the past thinking, I should have just gone for it. Why didn't I do that? Because this person was my wish, right? 
Oh, guys, okay. Five of Wands. You're really conflicted. Do I try again? Do I try again? The Hermit is the energy of Virgo. What a beautiful image. Wow. Look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So I don't know, Sad. I don't know whether or not you were connected to a Virgo. Or you may have become enlightened that this was your person. But it might be that the time wasn't right before. Or it may well be that in the past you were too busy to really look at building a relationship with someone. The tower. Sad. No way. Okay. Did something end? You're looking at a tower moment because you didn't have the courage to go for it. Okay, guys. Six of wands. All right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The world. All right. Sad, I'm afraid to say the six of wands next to the tower is I was sat in ego. And so this connection ended, right? I'm sitting in mental conflict because what I remember is I took a long time to think about this with the energy of the hermit. I distanced myself from this person. And so I brought in the tower myself. Because I sat in ego, I didn't reach out, I didn't pursue this, and so it's over with the energy of the world. Saggy. Okay, guys. Underneath the deck, Sag, we have the two of wands. Even though you're afraid to reach out, even though you don't want to face rejection, you do have feelings for this person, and so you're still thinking about this, two of wands. With the knight of wands, Sag, you've got a lot of passion for this person, but with the four of swords, you're not acting on that passion because you may feel it's too late. With the five of coins, Sag, you feel left out in the cold. You miss this person. Eight of swords, you've got them in your head the whole time. Page of swords, but you may have received a difficult message of truth from this person before that made you feel they're not interested. But with the Two of Cups, Sag, you fell in love. Oh my goodness, okay. So this is classic woulda, coulda, shoulda. I sabotaged my wish come true. I've been looking at the past. I wanted to move forward with this person, but now I'm sitting in disappointment because I sat in ego, I wasted time, and I should have just gone for it when I had the chance. You want to communicate, but you're too scared to do so, because you feel that this person's simply going to turn you away. You're very burdened about this. With the five of wands, this is internal conflict. What do I do? You may have had an argument with a Virgo, if that's relevant, or a Cancerian, but you've done some soul searching, and what you've realised is, with the tower, this is done. Your person isn't reaching out to you. They're not communicating with you. And what you're thinking about is with the six of wands, I sat in a little bit of ego and it's done. It's over with. Oh, Sag. So, guys, everyone makes mistakes, including me. Let's get some messages from the angels. Let's see what the angels have to say. Archangel Michael, what advice do you have for Sagittarius, please? What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Not the right time. Okay, Sag, now the angels are saying it's not the right time to reach out to this person, which could be a roundabout way of relaying to you that this could be mended in the future. But don't reach out yet. What else are they saying? Okay. All right. Reach out, Sag, within the next few weeks, but don't reach out right now. Okay. This could have been a fresh breakup. You may have behaved as if you weren't really interested in this person, Sag. They may have waited for you to come back and you didn't. Leave it another few weeks. 
Leave it another few weeks. Now is not the right time. Take action in the next few weeks. Okay. Take action in the next few weeks, Sag. And remain positive. All right. So, guys, this has a chance of turning around. This has a chance of turning around. Yes. I think you can get the romance back on track, Sag, but something happened. This person may have made a play for you and you behaved as if you weren't interested, thinking that you just wanted them to pursue you a little bit more. Maybe there were other options. Sag, this person is going to come back around. They are. Yeah. It is up to you. I mean... It's up to you whether or not you choose to move on, whether or not you choose to reach out in the next few weeks. What are the angels saying? Anything else? Ask for help from others. Okay. If you guys have mutual friends, you may ask a friend of yours to speak to this person. Oh, so-and-so is really missing you. I know things didn't end well, but they'd really like to talk. Something like that. All right. So guys, I feel as if I'm connecting with a female Sagittarian. I don't know why. I'm just feeling feminine energy. Let's have a look, Sag, at what your person would want to say to you. Let's give you an idea as to how they're feeling. All right. Archangel Michael, how is this person feeling about Sagittarius? Oh, passion and desire. So there's a lot of chemistry, Saggy. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sending you loving energy. Can you feel it? Oh, Sag, this person has not forgotten you. They're sending you loving energy from, I'm hearing from afar. Okay. Okay. Sag. I wish I could fix things between us. Okay, Sag. I think this person is wanting to look at this again. I think they miss you. The chemistry is crazy. But the angels are saying it's not the right time to reach out to them yet. Hold back. Hold back. I don't know why it's important that you don't reach out right now. There is a very strong telepathic bond between the two of you. There's a psychic connection. Wow, sad. They want a new beginning with you. They do want to mend the situation, whatever happened here. <laughs> Good, right? I feel you. They feel your energy, Sag. This is a very deep past life connection. You are the person of my dreams. Wow. Okay, Sag, you definitely have not lost this person, whoever they are. This is someone in love. What else are they saying to you? You're the first person to make me feel this way. Okay, Sag, they are in love. It may have knocked them off their feet a little bit. You may have wanted them to pursue you a little bit more. You may have sat on a bit of ego. You may feel you sabotaged this, pretended you weren't interested, that sort of thing. I think your person wants to fix this. They really miss you. They feel this connection. It may well be that the angels are saying, don't reach out to them because they, I think, may be gathering up the courage to reach out to you within the next few weeks. And if they do take action, remain positive, you can get the romance back. All right. Yeah. Because if I'm dealing with a female Saggy, which I think I am, you're not likely to chase, you know. So give it some time. Rather than reaching out and saying, I'm so sorry, I was sad in a bit of ego, I didn't know whether or not I wanted a relationship with you. I was looking at other options. Whatever your situation was, this person is going to reach out to you. Okay? All right? 
Saj, let's get into the second reading. Let's have a look and see if this is going to work out between you two. I will see you there. Okay, my lovely Sajis, let's get into this and find out what's going to be happening over the next few months. Archangel Michael, we'd like energies, please, from now through until the end of 2024 for my lovely Sagittarians. Thank you, Michael. What is going to happen in this connection? Are these two going to get back together again? Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Michael's showing me a tube of super glue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, your person wants to mend this as much as you do. That wanted to be seen. Let's have a look. There's a lot of energy in this deck. Five of Pentacles. Sad, why do I feel as if both of you miss each other? You know? Yeah. Oh. Okay, Saji, don't you worry, guys. Your person wants you back. The Magician. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini. The Empress. I think you, Sag, are trying to manifest sitting in the energy of the Empress. You want your person back, judgment. You're making a decision that this is your person. You're trying to manifest them back, Sag. The star. You're wanting to heal this connection. Aquarian energy. You're going to go for it with the energy of the fool. Aries, whoa, look at these major arcana. Holy moly. The magician, the empress, judgment, the star, the fool. Wow. The nine of wands. Sag, you may be really stressed that you can't manifest this person back, but remember, I think they're going to reach out to you in the next few weeks. The Ten of Wands. Sag, you're absolutely convinced that this is done. I don't think it is. I think you just need to be a little bit more patient. And here is your person. They could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Sag, this is someone coming in very calm, wanting to talk to you, wanting to mend the situation. What are they saying? Two of Cups. Sag, this is someone who's basically going to say, I really want to try again with you. I don't quite know what happened here, but I think I love you. I've been in my head, Eight of Swords. I didn't know whether or not to reach out to you. I didn't know if it was over with the energy of the world. Oh, Sag, this is reunion, guys. The King of Cups. Sag, this is someone who loves you. This is someone who loves you. I love you. I want to make it work with you. Because you're my Ten of Cups. I mean, it's as simple as that. Temperance. Sag, I think if you can give it some time, you guys are going to get back on track. That's what I feel. All right, underneath the deck, five of swords. Sag, you may have sabotaged this. This is the same card that came through in your first reading. You may not have known if you really wanted to be with this person. I've got to be honest. You may have just taken your time. You may have thought about somebody else who lived at a distance. Maybe I'm supposed to be with that person instead. But Sag, there was a tower moment because everything just disintegrated, right? And you realised you lost your person and there was a lot of disappointment. You may have wanted them to chase you a lot more and they didn't. Hmm. The chariot. Well, Sag, they're back. They've taken their time. They didn't want to be rejected. But I think this person with the energy of the hermit has done some soul searching 
and they want to work on this relationship. How beautiful is that? Yeah. So Sag, this is going to get back on track. All right. Moving into messages from the universe. What does the universe have to say, please, Archangel Michael? Frog spirit. <laughs> Renewal, Sag. You're going to kiss the frog and make him your prince? <laughs> I don't think your person wants to let you go either, Sag. <laughs> They're going to take you back. Butterfly spirit transformation. Yeah. I think the whole situation is going to be changing. As soon as this person realizes that you want them to, I think you guys are going to come back together again. <laughs> yeah. Flow. But go with a flow, Sag. You know, try and go with a flow. You're a fire sign. And I'm saying this with love because I've got sad rising, but we can be a little bit impatient. If somebody doesn't show a lot of interest immediately, it's sort of, well, maybe on to the next one. Give it some time with this person. They could be an earth sign. We've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit. It could be a Virgo. We've also got Cancerian energy here. We've got Aquarius, Aries, could be a fellow Sag. Whoever this person is, just give it some time. Let it naturally unfold. Okay, anything else? Be flexible, Sag, okay? Be flexible. If this person says to you, look, I'd really like to see you, but I just can't make it that particular day. My mom's got her birthday on that day or I'm heading out with my sister. I mean, whatever the reason is, just make sure you're flexible. Rather than saying, oh, absolutely not. No, why can't you change your plans? Because this is really important for us. No, be flexible, Sag. Okay, be flexible. Yeah. All right. Let's get our final message, as always, from Archangel Michael. All right. Archangel Michael, what is your message of guidance, please, for my lovely Sagittarians? Thank you, Michael. Write about your thoughts and feelings. Okay, Sag. And the prayer reads, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I can clearly express myself and glean insight, blessings and healing. Sag, this is rather lovely. Write your diary. Okay, get all your feelings out on paper. It may even be that you write this person a really nice card. Who knows? But I'm leaving it there. Whatever you're up to this weekend, um, enjoy yourselves, put your feet up, take care of you. And of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Sag. Bye now.